Hey guys, welcome back to Solidity Repository. We've got a very special episode for you guys today. So lately, we've been receiving an overwhelming amount of requests from viewers and users on how to build a front-running bot to help you trade on PancakeSwap on the Binance Smart Chain. Now while this may seem like a daunting task, it can actually be done very easily. And I'm here today to help you break down the process step by step so you can trade easier and faster on decentralized exchanges. Now while this bot is primarily able to be used on PancakeSwap on the Binance Smart Chain, it is configurable enough to be used on Ethereum. If you want to learn more about that, we'll be uploading another video next week. So without further ado, let's jump right into the content. Okay guys, like I said, we got a very exciting episode for you today. We are going to be coding our very own front runner bot contract to run on PancakeSwap on the Binance Smart Chain. Now what this is going to enable us to do, it is going to enable us to front run transactions on tokens on decentralized finance exchanges, primarily PancakeSwap, which is going to allow us to sniff the mempool or basically look for transactions that are pending to be made within a block and it is going to allow us to inject our transaction with a higher gas fee one guay higher than the transaction that is trying to be entered this will allow our transaction to be processed first and then we will also process a sell order within the same block so essentially the victim transaction gets sandwiched between ours and we make a small profit off the slippage difference in the transaction this is very very easy passive income and not a lot of traders with this knowledge are very keen to share this information so today I want to share it with you guys because as a retail trader myself I believe we all deserve an equal chance so the first step to the process is to open up your internet browser I use Google Chrome personally but whichever one you use is fine I like Google Chrome because it allows <clears throat> a myriad of extensions including one that is very essential to this progress which is MetaMask so up here if you're not familiar with MetaMask it's an Ethereum wallet that connects through your browser it's a web3 application and the first step we're gonna need to do is we are going to need to make sure that we are connected to the Binance Smart Chain Network and not the Ethereum Network. So the way we can add that is by going here, Add Network. And in the description below, there's a link to Binance Academy that will also show you how to do this. But here we enter the Binance Smart Chain. We enter the Binance Smart Chain RPC URL. And we also enter the chain ID for the Binance Smart Chain, which is 56, I believe. So the next step is once we have that, we need to go to our internet browser and head over to remix.ethereum.org. Now Remix is an application that is developed to allow us to develop, compile, launch, and transact with smart contracts on the Binance Smart Chain that are coded in the Solidity language. So in order to connect our MetaMask wallet to this, we need to go over here and we need to click on the green button and that will ensure that we are connected to the application. So next, we need to head over here to this button on the left side of the screen. Click that and that will help us create a new file. So what, this will be our contract. You can name it whatever you like. However, I'm going to name mine EVM Front Runner. Next, we need to add the extension for solidity which is .sol and this helps the application determine which type of file we are trying to create and we click enter and this will create our file it may take a second so next if you look in the description below this video I have included a link to a text file which includes the front runner bot contract that I have created so we are going to copy all of this data here every single line and we're going to copy and we're going to head over to remix and we are going to head to line one as you can see and we're going to paste and there we go so as we can see if we head all the way to the top of the contract 
<clears throat> I'll give you guys a quick breakdown of the contract. So what this is, this is our sniper bot. It doesn't require any downloads, anything like that. Um, I see a lot of paid services online of people offering uh, sniper bots and front runner bots for uh, paid fees and you have to download executable files and quite frankly i personally don't trust anything unless it's open source and i hope you guys wouldn't either because you know we all know executable files can harm your computer so as we can see here in the contract it is com been compiled in pragma solidity 0 0.6.6 .6. And what this will do is send required BNB for the liquidity pair, and it will perform tasks. <clears throat> Basically, perform a front-running attack on Uniswap. So this includes the input token address is wrap BNB. So what this means is that our bot will scan the mempool for wrap BNB, which is BEP20, smart chain BNB. We can actually verify this address is nothing malicious by just copy and pasting and heading to bsscan.com. And here in the search bar, we can search for address, transaction hash, block, or token. And we are going to paste our data there. So as we can see, it heads to the contract of wrapped BNB token tracker with a BNB value of $3 billion. I <laughs> wish that one was ours. So as we can see down here, there is many transactions, so that verifies that that is indeed the correct router. Now, as we head back to the contract and we scroll through the information, as I mentioned earlier, uh, the function of the bot is to front run transactions that are awaiting in the mempool for the next block. So the constant that I'm using is one GUE. So we will pay one gas unit higher than the person trying to transact in order to front run their transaction. So if we continue down through the files here, there's a couple more pieces of information that you guys are going to need. So over here, as you can see, we have the node set up. And down here, uh, our bot function, it basically, it handles the transaction and it uses the gas price that the other user is trying to use and it adds one GUE to that unit. And essentially what that will do is front run their transaction. You guys can scan through this yourself. And as you can see, it is very, very easy to use. So the next thing that we are going to do once we have this is we are going to compile our contract in Remix. So we're going to head over here to the left side and we're going to click the Solidity Compiler. Now, under Compiler, we are going to select our version of Solidity, which matches up over here which is 0 0.6.6 .6. and we are going to select the 0 0.6.6 .6 plus commit 6C089D02 build okay now what we need to do is we need to click compile and as we can see over here stated by the green check mark the contract was able to compile successfully, which is excellent. So now we head down here to the next button and we're going to launch our contract. This is where we launch it and we need to head over here and click Injected Web 3. Once you've selected Injected Web 3, you need to ensure that the account here that is connected is the same as your account in MetaMask, see, as we can see, we are connected. 0 0.52 Ether is equivalent to 0 0.52 BNB. So what we are going to do now is we are going to click Deploy. And it'll use a little bit of gas for us. 
mm, about a dollar. Creation of Uniswap V2 front bot pending. Okay, so here we go. Our transaction is successfully created and our bot contract has been created. So as we can see here, there are three actions for our contract. Now these are action. This is how we deploy the contract and create action. So what this will do is this will start the bot sniffing the mempool to find different liquidity pairs in order for you to front run transactions. <coughs> and we also have token name and token symbol. The next step in the process is we are going to need to fund our contract with BNB to be able to snipe liquidity pools. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy this address by clicking here. And I'm going to head back over to my MetaMask. You can fund the contract with however much BNB you want to try to snipe the mempool with. However, I mean, the more the better because the larger the more you put in the larger the transaction you'll be able to front run and the more profit you'll be able to make for instance if you're only able to front run with thirty dollars you're not going to be able to create as much slippage in the price as if you were inserting a hundred thousand dollars that's why when you see some of these front running wallets of people when you you know follow them on bsc scan you see that they have half a million dollars plus i mean I've, I've had weeks doing this where i've made seven to eight bnbs now i like to play conservatively and i only let the bot play with usually half a bnb to a bnb at a time uh just to be wary you know again it, it still is a bot and sometimes it can buy into contracts that aren't profitable but usually about 95 percent of the time it ends up being profitable so how this works is it will automatically send 90% of the profits that are made from the contracts that it sniffs directly back to your wallet address. And it will keep 10% within that token liquidity pool to continue uh, sniffing for new contracts to front run. So what I'm going to do here now is fund our co my contract with some BNB and see how it works. So copy the value to clipboard again, then I'm going to send, send to paste asset BNB. Hmm. I think I will try a 0 0.5 BNB to start. Okay. And it's going to cost us a little bit of gas fees there again, as you can see. And I will hit confirm. Contract interaction pending. Speed up. Use this. Oh, okay. Never mind. Didn't even need to speed it up. It went through just using five GUI. <laughs> Excellent. So as we can see, that is interacted with our contract. <clears throat> the next step is we can click here to view the transaction at bscscan.com. And basically, that shows that we've created our contract. So here, I've created it and I've funded it with some BNB. It's got 0 0.5 and $305 to snipe liquidity pools with. So let's see what we are able to come up with. Okay, so the next step here is to click Action. And this will also charge us a little bit of gas. And we confirm. Okay, excellent. Now we usually have to wait a couple of minutes for, uh, usually have to wait a couple of minutes for something to come back. Right now the bot is sniping the mempools. Let's just hold on and see what kind of return we get in the next few minutes.
Okay, nothing yet, guys. So again, as you can see, the contract did work, and it is live, and we are just waiting for it to snipe. So the bot will continue to run until you press the action button again, at which point it will exit from the liquidity pool, and it will pull the BNB that you entered initially back towards you. And you can do this as many times as you like, guys. You can continually feed the contract over and over and over. Okay, so let's check again and see if we've gotten any return yet. Okay, we've gotten nothing yet. It's a pretty slow process. I mean, if... Uh if you put in uh, more money, typically you'll you'll get larger returns. But again, I, I like to play it safe. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. As always, I uh, mentioned earlier, we uh, we're having a giveaway, and you can check that out in the description down below. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe on the video. Again, oh, geez, as you can see here, we've already gotten a return back from our contract. Look at that, 0 0.24 BMBs already. Whew, what was that, like two, maybe three minutes? Off a of 0 0.5 BNB investment, we've already sniped 0 0.24. Wow. Jeez. See, very, very profitable, guys. I've had weeks where I've made seven, eight BNBs. Sometimes it's not always profitable, but typically I usually make, yeah, around five plus BNBs a week. Uh, seven to eight is a good week. I, I have made 10 plus. However, mm, that sometimes that's kind of rare. I mean, if you want to go ahead and invest more, you're more than welcome to. However, it, it's at your own risk. Uh, you know, you never know what type of contract that the bot will snipe. It could be a honeypot or some kind of shitcoin contract. Who knows? So again, I always play it safe and just use half a BNB to one BNB. Again, thanks guys for watching. And as always, we really appreciate you guys being viewers here at Solidity Repository. And in the next episode, like I said, we're going to be showing you guys how to code one of these bots for use on Uniswap on the Ethereum chain. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day.